Success in life is founded upon attention to small things rather than large things, to everyday things nearest to us rather than to things that are remote and uncommon. Booker T. Washington. Well, the small things that we pay attention to every day are price movement, looking for trends and following them with our practice trades. These are not remote things and uncommon things. They are trends that we look for, weekly vertical crossovers, two-day recrosses, and four-hour crosses occasionally when things are really strong in the market. We have lots of great training for you. You want to get the best, go to chartingwealth.com, sign up for our daily reviews. We include special trainings there every day for you. That includes the options training that we put out every now and then in three parts. Also, the Heiken Ashi candlesticks, the derivative oscillator, the price percent oscillator, and today, our special training to supercharge your practice trading is from our book, the sixth chapter, The Trend is Your Friend, Understanding the All-Important Trend. Remember, we are not day traders. We don't practice day trading. We don't look to make pennies and have to deal with the dark pools and the deep uh, computers and all the other stuff. Wall Street Journal had a big article on that today. They scalped about $5 billion out of the market when it came to the computer trading, that fast trading where they're driving price up or down trying to scalp you. Well, we don't pay attention to that. Why? Because we're looking for long-term trends such as the weekly trend to jump into and practice trade. And that's what we want you to do. Don't start dumping your money in the market. Learn how to trade. Read books. Follow us. Do everything you can do to practice, practice, practice. Get good at that before you start blowing your money. Otherwise, you're just sort of throwing things out like you're at a casino. And that is not the way. That's not the way to make it. Let's jump into these market stocks. Rebounded today. Warned you about that yesterday, didn't we? We wait for a weekly vertical crossover to occur. And then we consequently see that bonds and gold are down somewhat. Now, let's jump into the market. How does it look so far? Two days into a five-day candle, <clears throat> starting off with the S&P 500 up for the day, 1.05%. Still have a red down candle. Price is still right there at the weekly trend line and the two-day trend line. Price percent oscillators going down, derivative oscillators losing energy. Go to the two-day chart. It has now officially crossed over going down on the two-day chart. Even with the bump up today, you can see how big our Heiken Ashi candlestick is priced below the two-day trend line. And it has now officially crossed over going down. Derivative oscillator also red. There was enough movement and momentum to drive those Heiken Ashi candlesticks over and the price percent oscillator over. When we look at where things are, we can see how Monday morning, the big downer, things trying to recover a little bit since then on that four-hour chart, but the price percent oscillator still going down, derivative oscillator still negative. Go back to the weekly, move on to, bond, uh, to before we get to bonds, to the Qs, the NASDAQ 100. We see a red spinning top so far for the week, up for the day 1.54% trying to recover somewhat. Price percent oscillator is just about flat. It's a little hard to see it there. It's so high up. The derivative oscillator losing momentum. And again, just two days into the latest five-day candle, we then go to the two-day chart, and it has not yet crossed over. It is a big down candle with a long wick on the bottom, no wick on the top. Push through the two-day trend line above the weekly. So keep your eye. You might have a bounce off. Look for it over Wednesday and Thursday. See what you see on that two-day chart. If things keep going up in stocks, might give you the ability to jump into an up move. What about that four-hour chart? Well, again, it bounded down on Monday morning up a little more on, well, shows a little bit of slowing down in that down move on Monday afternoon, and then up Tuesday morning and afternoon again, 1.54%. So a fair bit of a recovery, <clears throat> but again, uh, the overall mood, price percent oscillator still positive on that weekly chart, the all-important weekly chart 
on both of our stock indexes, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100. Keep your eye on things. We'll see how the week continues to move along. We leave stocks, go to bonds. Down 0.78%, still a nice strong green candle. Might have a crossover by the end of the week. That could pull back through if bonds keep going down for the rest of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But we'll watch, keep an eye on things, keep our powder dry, see what there is to see. Derivative oscillators going positive. Nice big green up candle reaching higher highs than the prior week. We'll see how that pans out. Two-day chart, nice big green up candle there, two-third in a row. Price percent oscillator heading up, derivative oscillator heading up. Four-hour chart, flat. We see where things peaked on Monday and then down some on Tuesday. Price percent oscillator flat, derivative oscillator losing momentum. So we'll keep our powder dry, pay attention, see what there is to see and learn if there is going to be a crossover at the close of the market on Friday, be ready to jump into a practice trade going up on bonds. If there's not, there's not. We'll wait and see. Lastly, we go to gold down for the day, the most 0.89% after a huge, up, well, an up day about the same. Um, it hit that high. I think it ended at 0.58% up. But we look at the weekly chart, still have a green up candle hitting high or high. A derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum, price percent oscillator heading up. Now we get to the two-day chart. Again, we're seeing some weakness getting flat as far as the price percent oscillator goes. Derivative oscillator has been losing momentum since it peaked on the 8th, Wednesday the 8th. It, then it just drove sideways, started moving up. We did end with a two-day up candle price above the two-day and the weekly. Lastly, let's check out this four-hour chart appears to have crossed over at the end of the day. We'll see how things start on Wednesday. If things rebound quickly, it could pull back through. But that four-hour chart, we saw a big bump up in the morning just as stocks bumped down, slow down in the afternoon on Monday, and then down Monday morning. Monday afternoon reached the low, it appears. Let's see what the low was. 147.54. 147.53, as about the same, low about the same both morning and afternoon. So where we are, folks, as we close the day on Tuesday, we'll continue to pay attention. Opportunities always abound. We hope that you're using your trade worksheet to practice trade. I'm going to actually put the instructions on how to use the trade worksheet at the end of the video today, along with information about our book. If you guys want to support the work we do here, buying the book's a great way. Becoming a Patreon supporter is another great way. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.